Hey everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy phones in around two minutes. Today we're going to talk about different ways of saving battery life only with dealing with your display settings. Now there's a lot of different settings on your phone you can change to help you with your battery life, but let's just go over everything you can do inside of your display. So first off, pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and go inside of display. So we're going to be playing with this screen here for the majority and all the rest of this video. The first one to do is play with dark mode. I would highly suggest turning on dark mode. Now this one is a little subjective. Some people may say it does help. Some people say it doesn't. I'm the person who does say it does help because Samsung uses AMOLED displays, which means LEDs, which means that anything that is black, the LED is turned off, which means it is giving it the blackest of black colors. So this is not using any battery life, but all the rest of these colors and whites is taking battery. So you can see here, Clearly, dark mode will be saving you battery life. The next one is by scrolling down and taking a look at your screen timeout. Now, this one's a pretty big deal. Uh, by default, I believe it is set to 30 seconds. Now, for me, because I do YouTube and because sometimes I walk away from my cell phone, just in my personal life, I like to put it up to five minutes. But if you are looking to save a little bit more battery life, I would suggest putting it at one or two minutes if you're over here. If you're at 30 seconds and you want it to stay on a little bit longer, you can put it for a minute. But I would say 30 seconds to a minute will save you the, mo the most battery. Two minutes is if you want it to be on just a bit longer. But for me, my battery life on the Note 10 Plus is perfect for me. So I'm happy with five minute timeout. Now, as you scroll on down, you're going to see a few more things. Uh, this one right here, you want to turn on the accidental touch protection. This is a way that you don't accidentally touch your phone when it's in a pocket or a dark place like a bag or anything like that. So if you have your phone in your pocket and you double tap it, and th this way it's a way to save the phone from turning on because it's in a dark location so it won't turn on and also accidentally unlock and call people. Now this one right here is for touch sensitivity. This is if you're only using uh, screen protectors. If you're not using a screen protector, have this one turned off. The touch sensitivity, it will make it a little bit more sensitive when it's on, taking up just a little bit more battery. Go all the way up to the top and we're going to talk about adaptive brightness. Now this one, you are able to still manually change the brightness if you need it to be a little bit more brighter, but this is a way it's able to keep track of the brightness adjustments and apply them automatically in similar lighting conditions. So you can see right now I'm in a pretty normal, decent lit room and it's not up all the way. Now, if you put it up all the way here, it's going to take a lot more of your battery. Uh, you are able to change it if you want to, but I would suggest just having your adaptive brightness turned on and it'll kind of give it a little adjustment. So you can see here, it went up just a little bit when I turn it back on. Now I might've stated this the last one, but I noticed this one here, uh, the screen resolution. You can put this one at either full HD plus or the WQHD plus. Now this one will take a little bit more battery. It's gonna have a little bit better resolution. So if you're on this one already and you wanna have a little bit better battery life, put it to full HD plus, but I suggest to never put it here. You have a Samsung phone, an amazing display. I would never really try to kill it and put it there. But if you are looking for something for battery life, put it right in the middle. And if you don't really care, you can put it on the very top for the WQHD plus. So this was about five or six different settings, all built inside of display that you can change to save a little bit of battery life. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe, subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball Famous, so, so famous, number one desirable I do what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air, that's how I roll I got tons of soul